Hey guys, Hardly Brief Dan here with a video to show you guys how to import or use Microsoft Visual Studio Community uh, with Unity. For <clears throat> from here on out, I'm going to be using uh, Visual Studio to uh, program all of our uh, scripts and stuff for like to make an RPG series and any other video I make. I'll be using Visual Studio, and so before I go ahead and just jump into using that, I thought I'd answer the question that will definitely come up if I do that. How do I do that? How do I use it? Uh, and this video will cover that and I'll also introduce uh, one other thing at the end. So basically, uh, Microsoft several months ago released the Visual Studio Community, which is a free development tool, which is basically Visual Studio uh, with some restrictions, but allows for plugins, which is perfect because uh, there's a great Unity plugin and several others that you should use or could use for C Sharp. And the Unity plugin allows you to uh, use. Visual Studio as your default editor and allows it to debug uh, straight from Visual Studio which is perfect so all your uh, scripts and stuff will still debug in the console like normal but it'll be all edited in Visual Studio so the first thing you need to go ahead and do is go to the Microsoft Visual Studio Community 2013 and you need to go ahead and download the IDE it is free you eventually will have to register I believe it's after about 30 days you'll have to sign up make an account with uh, Microsoft uh, but otherwise, if you go ahead and go to Google, type in you know Visual Studio Community 2013, you'll come to this page. Here you can go ahead and download it, a little screenshot of it, a little Q&A, what's, what's it about. Basically, it's perfect for hobbyists and uh, any game developers and stuff for now. Uh, and this is what I'll be using. The other thing you're going to need is the Unity Tools plugin, which is the Visual Studio 2013 tools for Unity. Uh, it's a plugin, again, that allows you to import it into your projects and allows you to edit code via Visual Studio. And again, I'll put these links down in the description below, and they're going to be for you to use uh, to go ahead and download these tools if you want. It's not mandatory. Again, I just want to make it clear that I'm going to be using Visual, Visual Studio from now on uh, for the videos. Uh, so you have these two things here. Again, the plugin and the Visual Studio. Once Visual Studio goes ahead and downloads, you need to uh, install it and get that up and running. Uh, don't worry about setting it up. Once you get the Visual Studio Tools plugin, I'll go ahead and show you that now. I've placed it in my Unity 4.6 uh, folder here. This is where I store Unity. You can see this is what will be downloaded, Visual Studio 2013 Tools for Unity uh, MSI Windows Installer. So what you're going to do is go ahead and install that, and you'll have a package. That package will be need to be installed into our standard packages under Unity, wherever you have Unity. So if you store it on your C drive, uh, it's going to be wherever you installed Unity, uh, you're going to go ahead and go to the editor the folder and you're going to go standard packages and in there once you install the Visual Studio 2013 tools you'll see this little package here and it's a Unity package file and what this does allows us to import this asset into our uh, projects every time we want it which is perfect uh, so once you go ahead and do that again install that file it'll, it'll walk you through there's a nice little wizard uh, we're going to jump into our Unity program and there's two things that need to happen first uh, we need to go ahead and import that package right so you go to assets and you're gonna go down to import package and you're gonna see it and it says Visual Studio 2013 tools you're gonna click it it's gonna ask you hey do you want to import all this you're gonna sit import it's gonna put a folder here in our projects see it's unity vs this is unity visual studio uh, and then this basically allows us to debug through the console here uh, and it talk to Visual Studio the next thing we need to go ahead and do is go to edit and we need to go to our preferences. Uh, in here we're going to go ahead and do, I believe it's external tools and you'll see our external script editor is, we need to go ahead and set that. So you should, once you install it, have this drop down, uh, drop down little thing here. Instead of model develop, we're going to go ahead and click unity vs.open file. And what that's going to do is when you click it, it's going to open Visual Studio and allow us to work in Visual Studio. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that now. Again, you need it. This is in uh, edit, and then you go down to. I've already lost it. Edit preferences, external tools. You can go ahead and change your script editor down to Unity VS. Open file. Go ahead and make sure you import the package. Going to assets, import package, and you'll see the Visual Studio 2013 tools the little folder down here. And I'm going to go ahead and click a script. I'm going to go into our scripts folder here and click, let's see, click, excuse me, uh, we'll do level up. It's going to open. And you see I'm in Visual Studio now. And I actually opened the, this before. I, I was testing it out. And I have the base equipment script open here. You can zoom in using the control and mouse wheel here. Uh, but this is it. This is the Unity 
uh, or this is the Visual Studio 2013. Your project files up here, all your files and stuff are up here. Uh, this is a little debug window error list to show you some different errors. Uh, but basically, it's just a different IDE. It's uh, it's more powerful than Mono Develop since Mono Develop is pretty out of date on the what comes with the Unity. So overall, I think this is just a pretty good or much better IDE uh, for everyone to get used to and develop. And a lot of most professionals use if they're programming C sharp, they use Visual Studio. Uh, but anyways, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys that. The next thing that I wanted to do is go ahead and show you guys uh, the next thing, which is the website that I've been working on, uh, and that's hardlybriefdan.com. And uh, basically, I've been working on the past couple months uh, a website uh, for me personally and then for everyone here, uh, for you guys that create a forum that we can go ahead and talk on that. It basically gives me another way to uh, update content for you guys when I'm not around. I go ahead and explain it a little bit here on a blog post. Uh, gives the links to all the social media and stuff. And then, of course, uh, the forum. So you can go ahead and discover. You can read FAQ about me, look at some projects that we're working on. or making RPG projects there. Uh, there's a forum. You can see the roadmap where it, basically these are the things that I'd like to do in the future. Uh, news, which is a new show that I'd like to work on for the channel. And then, again, the forum here, uh, which I've gone ahead and created some basic forums here and subjects that we can get started in. Uh, what you'll have to do is go ahead and log in, create a create a profile, and uh, that's basically it. It allows you to talk on the forum, we can communicate with each other, and uh, I can basically allows me another way to get content out to you guys if I'm not at home and can't make a video. Uh, so any, that's it for the video. Uh, I want to show you guys the new website. I want to show you guys how to use Visual Studio, how to set it up so that you can run in your projects uh, within Unity. And that's it for this time. I'll talk to you guys later.